But the truth is I don't know where I let you go and lost my way. Said it would never happen, then walk at the door yeah once again. Can't even start to imagine a life without you I can't understand. I invite everyone to please bow your heads in prayer. Let's pray. Our God and Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so grateful for this day that you have given to us, a day where we can unite together and serve and honor you, Lord, in our midst. Lord, we thank you because you are faithful. Indeed, you have provided all our needs. And so we rejoice together in the midst of your people, knowing that all the things that we need, Lord, in this uh, pandemic situation that we have will be provided by you. God, we thank you for raising students, Lord, to be part of this calling, the ministry that you have entrusted to us here in Ebenezer. And thank you for raising faculty and staff who are committed to serve and honor you, Lord. Today, as we present them to the students and uh, to all Ebenezerians, I pray, Lord, that May your name be glorified. May your name be honored. We give you glory and praise in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang Oh, 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 oh,
Good morning to all of you. The teaching role of faculty members impacts the basic and applied knowledge of students. The staff, on the other hand, ensures students are learning in a safe and supportive environment. They reflect their significance in attaining the primary education philosophy, vision, and mission of the school. On the country's current status, going online is quite challenging. We are all moving to an unknown territory. However, this will not hinder the school and its faculty and staff to continually glorify God by developing servant leaders who will serve as catalysts of Christ. I sincerely appreciate the dedication and hard work of the faculty and staff. They continue to fulfill what they are called to do. And today, we are very pleased to present them to you, our beloved students, with high respect and honor. To all of you, welcome and may God bless us all. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above, and gratefully sing His wonderful love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. Thy bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air, it shines in the light. It streams from the hills, it descends to the plain, and sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. Frail children of dust, and feeble as frail, in thee do we trust, nor find thee to fail. Thy mercies, how tender, how firm to the end, our Maker, Defender, Redeemer, and Friend. O oh, tell of His might, O oh, sing of His grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space, His chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is His path on the wings of the storm. Hosanna, Hosanna, forever we'll worship the King. Hosanna, Hosanna, forever we'll worship the King. O measureless might, incomparable love, the angels delight to sing from above. Let all of creation delight in your ways. With deep adoration, all sing to your praise. Hosanna, Hosanna, forever we'll worship the King. Hosanna, Hosanna, forever we'll worship the King. Hosanna, Hosanna, forever we'll worship the King. Hosanna, Hosanna. Welcome to Academic Year 2020-2021. I want to congratulate everyone for making it through the first four months of our COVID experiences, especially the seniors for successfully completing your internships. For those ones who are still stranded in your internship assignments, I affirm your dedication, your patience, and resilience in these challenging times. I want to welcome the freshman students also. 
this is quite a unique year for you. Many have desired to enroll this school year, but some have decided to wait for another year until things would normalize. You, however, have made a conscious choice to take that step of faith, notwithstanding the challenges that await you as you begin your journey in following the Lord and fulfilling God's plan for you. Keep on! As many of you have noticed, the pandemic has brought tremendous amount of anxiety and uncertainties to many people, including you and your parents probably. In fact, many have admitted, including celebrities, that they have been struggling with fear and their mental health when the lockdown started. They have been suffering from depression because the stress level is just too much to bear. The government, including the business and financial sectors, are having a hard time trying to find balance and stability, which poses a huge threat to our survival in the coming months. Certainly, you are also aware that even the religious sector, including your churches perhaps, are also scrambling for ways to survive. In particular, Ebenezer has been deeply affected also. When we considered our resources at that time, we found it wanting. We knew that if the lockdown would extend for many months, we would not have enough resources to help feed the 42 stranded students, give financial assistance to our faculty and staff, and fund the greater need of preparing Ebenezer for school year 2020-2021. During the early stages of the lockdown, together with some of the key members of the leadership of Ebenezer, namely Reverend Modesto Bilango, Reverend Ricky Lagare, Ms. Annie Labajo, Ms. Mona Rose Martin, and Ms. Ethel Lagare, we realize that if we don't act soon, we might not be able to recover from the effects of the pandemic, and we might not be ready to continue to offer quality educational training to all of you. So despite the inadequate resources we had at the time, we took the step of faith and started working on our action plans so that Ebenezer could continue to fulfill its mission of developing servant leaders. Our action plan includes our learning continuity plan and the rationalization of our structure and system. By God's abundant grace, God opened many opportunities for Ebenezer. We have established stronger relationship both with our current and new ministry partners. People have been made aware of our ministries and they are responding to our needs. Also, we have expanded our scope of ministry and influence through our online system. In the days ahead, we will begin our classes and we will also be launching our master's program for the lay leaders in the marketplace. Not only that, we are also excited about the opportunities that God has opened for us in equipping some of the emerging leaders in the Alliance Youth Movement. So what appeared to be a catastrophe turned out to be a God-given opportunity for Ebenezer to rise to the challenge and thrive through the complex and complicated process of transitioning from the traditional face-to-face -face learning method to flexible teaching learning modality and the online system in general. This is a historic season for Ebenezer, and God has demonstrated that He is able to do great and mighty things even in the most unfavorable situations of our lives. Today, we appear before you grateful to God for His wonderful works. Indeed, He is our Ebenezer. Hitherto had the Lord helped us. As we start our school year, I want to share with you our unified philosophy of education, our new vision and mission statement, our goals, our core values, and our new organizational structure. Our goal here is to provide each one of you an educational and ministry perspective that would serve as your foundational motivation as you continue to train and prepare for the work that God has called you to do. Our educational philosophy. Ebenezer applies both formal and practical life-to-life -life teaching learning approaches as exemplified by servant leader himself, Jesus Christ. We nurture an environment that enriches the holistic development of the knowledge, that's the head, the character, that's the heart, and skills, the hand, of our learners who will serve as agents of change in the society. Our vision statement, Ebenezer envisions a growing network of Christ-transformed servant leaders fulfilling the Great Commission. Our mission statement, the mission of Ebenezer is to develop servant leaders as catalysts of Christ in the society. We have nine goals as an institution. First, curriculum and training program enhanced. Second, administrative organization restructured. Third, training facilities and buildings refurbished. Fourth, 
admission process and student recruitment intensified. Fifth, linkages, network, and partnership expanded. Sixth, young and emerging servant leaders empowered. Seventh, salary and benefits standardized. Eighth, transformational initiatives strengthened. And finally, spirituality and deeper life revitalized. Our core values. First, educationally excellent. As lifelong learners, we are willing to give our best in every teaching learning opportunity. We steward all God-given resources in order to produce exceptional results. Biblically balanced. The Word of God is the ultimate standard for sound theologically teaching and exemplary Christian living. We anchor all our convictions upon the clear teaching of the Scriptures. Third, Christ-like attitude. As followers of Christ, we seek to imitate His ways. Character formation is non-negotiable for discipleship. Fourth, servant leadership. We lead by serving others. We invest our time and energy in order to influence others who will also influence others. Now I want to present to you the organizational structure by Benizer and some of the key leaders. At the top of the leadership is the Board of Trustees. Under the Board of Trustees is the President, and that's me, Reverend Richard Rojas. Under the President is the Resident Director, Reverend Ricky Lagare. Then we have three major departments. First is the Basic Education Department, headed by Ms. Mona Rose Martin. She also serves as the principal of the Basic Education. Second, the Higher Education Department, and this is headed by Reverend Modesto Bilango as the department head. Third is the Administration and Finance Department, headed by Reverend Ricky Lagari. Under the Higher Education Department, we have three major divisions. First is the Division of Graduate Studies, and that's headed by Reverend Richard Rojas. Second, the Division of Undergraduate Studies, and is headed by our Academic Dean, Ms. Anne Rose Labajo. Third, the Division of Student Services, and it is headed by Reverend Modesto Bulango. Under the Administration and Finance Department, we have two major divisions. First is the General Services and Finance Division, which is headed by the OIC Ms. Nenita Villegas. And second, the Audit and Regulatory Compliance Division, which is headed by Ms. Daisy Lara. These are the personnel under the Office of the President. Ms. Ethel Jean De Perini Lagare, the Secretary to the Office of the President. Since Ms. Lagare is an on maternity leave, Ms. Christelle Aubrey Werbel Siniza serves as the OIC Secretary to the Office of the President. Our OIC Human Resource Officer is Reverend Aldwin Villagracia, and our Human Resource Clerk is Ms. Marielle B. Fajardo. Reverend Ralph Don Velasco serves as the Information and Communication Development Administrator and Pastor Dave Ayog as the IT Officer. These are the members of the pastoral team of Ebenezer Community Alliance Church. Reverend Ra Rafael Ramsel Lara is the OIC Admin Pastor, Reverend Flaviano Sotilio Jr., the Worship Pastor, Pastor Reynald M. Domingo, our CE Director, and Lady Minister Jeremy S. Perez, our youth pastor. Hi everyone! It is with great joy and honor to present to you the men and women of the Basic Education Department. The Basic Education Personnel, Ms. Esperanza Manantan, Program Head. Ms. Jaiko Jennifer Magno, OIC Secretary to the Principal. Ms. Stephanie Lynn Bolata, Guidance Coordinator. Ms. Liway Y. Lemon, Library Staff. Ms. Hinara Lim, Register. Mr. Rodolin Mauro, Maintenance Man. And Mr. Randy Fernandez, Maintenance Man. The Preschool Division. Ms. Dana Faye Gonzalez, Kinder 1 AM Class Advisor. Ms. Ivy Anito, Kinder 1 PM Class Advisor. 
Miss Kristen May Malantan, Kinder 2 AM Plant Advisor, and Miss Carissa Te, Kinder 2 PM Plant Advisor. The Grade School Division, Miss Ali Joy Caparida, Grade 1 Matthew Plant Advisor. Miss Mary Jean Macaso, Grade 1 Mark Class Advisor. Mr. Arthur Allen and Singh, Grade 2 Luke Class Advisor. Miss Mary Jane Lungan, Grade 2 John Class Advisor. Miss Geraldine Puyot, Grade 3 Ax Class Advisor. Miss Nicole Lay Sobreno, Grade 3 Romance Class Advisor. Miss Raynaline G. Lacasta Santos, Grade 4 Class Advisor. Miss Kristen Jane Muslaris, Grade 5 Class Advisor. Miss Ronaline Bahandi, Grade 6 First Timothy Class Advisor. And Mr. John Russell Tan, Grade 6 Second Timothy Class Advisor. Miss Noemi Velez, Grade 7 Galatians Class Advisor. Mr. Christian Bustamante, Grade 7 Ephesians Class Advisor. Miss Fredeline Mina, Grade 8 Philippians Class Advisor. Miss Marie Antoinette Elisen, Grade 8 Colossians Class Advisor. Miss Dizel Nalugon, Grade 9 Class Advisor. Miss April Gay A. Marasigan, Grade 10 Tiburus Class Advisor. Miss Gurley D. Legados, Grade 10 James Class Advisor and Grade 12 Class Advisor. The visiting faculty Reverend Flaviano Cecilia Jr., Miss Pearl Ann Rojas, Miss Hannah Crizel Gakuma, Pastor Kevin Cabernay, Pastor Richard Apple Gonzalez, Pastor Dave Ayo Jr., Mr. Mark Jason Mahaba, Miss Sarah Fermento, Miss Daisy Lara, Reverend Ralph Don Velasco, Miss Stephanie Lynn Bulatag, and yours truly, Miss Mona Rose Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you the Deans of Higher Education Department. Dr. Richard Rojas, the Dean of Graduate Studies, Ms. Annie Labajo, the Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Reverend Modesto Bialango III, yours truly, the Dean of Student Services. Buenos dias. It is with distinct pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the ever hardworking and dynamic personnel under the academic division. Starting off with Ms. Rochelle Hope Tejero, the Secretary to the Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Ms. Henara Lim, our Registrar, Ms. Pearl Ann Rojas, our Field Internship Director, Ms. Pastor Kevin Cabernay, our Library Staff, and assisting him in the library is Ms. Jeneline Duhailungsud Bakungalio. Reverend Alduin Villagracia is our program head for the Bachelor of Arts in Theology, and Dr. Charity Directito Tempenuevo, our program head for Bachelor in Early Childhood Education. These are the faculty teaching under the Bachelor of Arts in Theology program. Reverend Alduin Villagracia, Dr. Charity Directito Templo Nuevo, Ms. Evelyn Romaguera Bagona, Reverend Rafael Ramsel Lara, Ms. Pearl Ann Pagsugiron Rojas, Reverend Modesto Violango III, Reverend Ricky Lagare, Ms. Jeremy Perez, Reverend Ralph Don Velasco, Ms. Rowelyn May de los Santos Violango, Ms. Monrose Martin, Ms. Stephanie Lynn Bulat Ag, Ms. Stephanie Ke, Reverend Adalberto Marasigan Jr., Ms. Alma Carino Ayog, 
Pastor Ronald Agutaya, Reverend Flaviano Sotilio Jr., Miss Beverly Flo Rubio Marasigan, Miss Daisy Domingo Lara, Miss Jaiko Jennifer Magno, Pastor Jerome Manalo, and yours truly. These are the faculty teaching under the Bachelor in Early Childhood Education program. Dr. Charity Derequito Tamponuevo, Ms. Evelyn Romaguera Bagona, Ms. Rowlin May de los Santos Biolango, Ms. Fiona Vale Ribo, Ms. Esperanza de la Cruz Manentan, Ms. Alma Carino Ayog, Ms. Ella Espanol Velasco, and Ms. Charito Armina Salazar. For the Division of Student Services Personnel, Reverend Ralph Don Velasco, our Student Conduct and Life Development Coordinator, Pastor Ronald Agotaya, our Assistant Dean for Men, Ms. Rowelyn May Bulango, our Assistant Dean for Ladies, and Ms. Stephanie Lynn Bulatag, our Guidance Counselor. My partners for the operationalization of administrative and finance services of the school are Ms. Nenita Villegas, the OIC Head of the General Services and Finance Office, and Ms. Daisy Lara, the Head of the Internal Audit and Regulatory Compliance Office. Also directly working with me is Ms. Grazel Hope Dumabok, the Department Clerk and Booking in Charge. A pleasant day to everyone. I am very pri privileged to introduce to you the personnel from the General Services and Finance Division. And I would like to begin with the ladies. As the saying goes, ladies first. So our cashier is the very accommodating Jonalyn Agutaya. Our property custodian is the very cheerful and sweet Rowelyn May Biolango. Our bookkeeper, she used to work with us last 2018, and now she is back, Ms. Sheila Abrica. From the gentleman, the head of the maintenance man is the very energetic Pastor Ronald Agutaya. And the person who will, reach, who will help you reach your destination anytime, anywhere, the very smiling James Krausus. And the maintenance men in charge with the basic education are Randy Fernandez and Rudelin Mauro. And the one in charge to assist in our building construction is Jose Olano and Edgar Manantan. And in charge for the, in maintaining the grounds uh, is Reynaldo Rebolios. For our security guards, please say hi to them when you pass by the gate. Bernardo Bustamante, Benedicto Agpalo, Frankie Gadiani, and their very approachable and muse, joke only, Odessa Walagtas. Finally, the OIC General Services Manager and Finance Head at your service, Nenita Villegas. Thank you and looking forward to joyfully serve Ebenezer and the Ebenezerians. God bless. Before the hills 
hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting Thou art God, to endless years the same. O oh God, 